Hi, I'm Robert Hargreaves, Western Range Mobile Optics Supervisor. Here at Vandenberg Air Force Base, we use mobile tracking mounts remotely and seat tracking to track space and missile launches. We do technical documentation of rockets, missiles, and space payloads from receipt through launch. Our technicians are highly skilled and perform operator maintenance before every launch to make sure that our equipment is operating at peak performance. Mobile Optics accurately and safely meets mission operational directives by setting up operational seat tracking and remotely controlled mobile optics tracking mounts. Tracking mounts can hold up to 12 cameras consisting of high definition, 2 and 4K digital video, high speed digital engineering analysis video, mid-wave infrared video, and still photographic cameras. We document missions for DOD, MDA, NRO, Air Force, and other government and commercial agencies. Recently, the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force was one of our special guests who got a chance to use one of our tracking mounts and learn what we do. Usually one day prior to all launches, we bring all of our equipment to the field, uncover, and prepare everything for launch, making sure that on launch day, everything is 100% operational. One of our main challenges at Vandenberg Air Force Base Launch Range is our terrain. We have a very hilly and mountainous terrain, which requires the use of many different optical sites. Mobile optics is critical at Vandenberg Air Force Base. At Vandenberg Air Force Base, our operations take place 24 hours a day with a lot of our launch operations occurring at night. We can incur all types of weather conditions, including foggy weather, rain, and high winds. On a clear night, our optics technicians will use the moon to check their bore sight and infinity focus. During hours of darkness, when you cannot visually see the launch sites, Geographical coordinates can be used to find the launch facilities. Our latest launch at Vandenberg Air Force Base was a Minuteman 3 missile. 